Hello lovelies, welcome to another Rule of Rose stream. This one is happening on a Tuesday for those of you in the archives. Uh, because my regular, my regular streaming day was yesterday. And um, I had a little bit of an accident. I was cleaning the house uh, really well. And um, I have this big glass thing thick glass jug uh, that I keep on top of my refrigerator and uh, you know I probably should have told this story after people start showing up that way I wouldn't have to retell it in any case um, I keep this big giant thick glass jug uh, on my refrigerator and um, when I opened my refrigerator yesterday I guess over time of opening and shutting the door, it had wiggled the jug closer and closer to the edge. So that this time when I opened the door, maybe the edge of the jug got caught on the door. And so when I was pulling it open, it pulled it completely off the refrigerator and fell and hit me in the head. And uh, <laughs> it was extremely painful. I had an instant hematoma on my head, and I instantly felt super nauseous. Uh, I went down on the ground. Hey, guy! I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I was just telling our story, or our story. I was just telling my story about what happened yesterday to our lovely archive viewers. And essentially, a big glass jug fell off the refrigerator and hit me in the head. And, uh, I was pretty sure I had a concussion because, um, I got, I got really nauseous, felt like I was going to throw up. Um, it was hurting like holy hell. I thought I may have like cracked my skull. This thing, I'm, I, this jug, no joke. It was like this thick glass. It's got a metal handle with metal brackets around it, holding the metal jug on, and it's a uh, it's a gr it's a beer growler, essentially, just a really big beer growler that I had gotten uh, on vacation once. It was empty, thankfully, because I don't drink anymore. But uh, I I did go to the ER. My uh, my boyfriend took off work and uh, drove me to the ER, and. Um, I did have a mild concussion, was there for several hours and feeling disoriented and confused and sleepy and nauseous and just classic, classic concussion stuff. Um, but I'm feeling much better today. So I'm glad. I was worried. <laughs> Hello, Blauwoof! Blauwoof! I'm very glad that it wasn't worse. I thought it could have been initially when it when it first hit me in the head, I I thought it might be bad, real bad. But it was not. Yay! Oh goodness, I am. Oh, my uh, office chair was rolled onto the controller for my. What do you call this controller? All right, I don't think we need any buffer time or anything. We're just gonna jump into Rule of Rose. <gasps> Thanks, Guy. Thank you, and thank you, everybody on Facebook who uh, who um, expressed the same thing, expressed concern. You guys are so sweet. My people are the best. They're the best. I love them. I love them so much. Okay, I actually don't remember where we left off. Oh, wait. Didn't we recently choose another book? Wait a minute. There's something right here. There's something right there. Oh! It's tied tightly with rope. I don't know what that is. It's like a box of stuff. Little, little boxes of stuff. Oh, man. My headset, even though it's not on my bump, it's like close enough to be like, ow. Well, yes, it's tied tightly with rope, but what's that thing up on the wall? You can't die or the Queen of Magus will come for you. Oh, crap! 
I'll have to kill some parasites, I guess. Okay. Um, let's check out the uh, let's check out the, the old inventory. Oh, that's right, drumstick. What is this for? Look. Tender meat on the bone. Any dog would go wild over it. Oh, it's gonna be for, for shark brown. It's gonna be for sh my little sharky brown. Uh, what else do we have here? A red feather. We need to follow a steel pipe for range. An ice pick for deadly, deadly stabbery. Shortbread. Yeah, let's try to find some shortbread. I did eat up a lot. Uh, I mean, we're replenished. We're, re we're decently replenished, but I ate up a lot of health items. So, two chocolate. But I, I want to always keep one of everything. That way I can find more of it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Shortbread. Oh my god, that would be the most adorable name for a... Uh... Oh my gosh, what? I... Oh, shit. I... The name of the dog just escaped my brain. <sighs> uh, a, not a, not a pug. It's those, it's those Ein dogs from Cowboy Bebop. Ein, the little dog, Ein. Cor corgi, Corgi, Corgi. Oh my God, a little Corgi named Shortbread. <gasps> oh, he's gonna lead us. Oh, man. <laughs> I've never wanted a corgi until now, just so I can name it Shortbread. Oh, dorms. Sin! Hey, Sin! Oh, my gosh. I just saw that you stepped in. Yay! I'm so glad that you could join us today. Wait a minute. Didn't we already... What? Hold on a tick. Wait, no, we have a drumstick, therefore we are at our most recent. We are at the most recent. Uh. Wait, this isn't where Shark went. We are at the most recent save then. Um, oh, these are adorable little animals. That's right. Okay, so the little blonde girl, what is it, Diana and... Margaret. Diana and Margaret are plotting against... Oh, what's that little cold-hearted princess's name? El Eleanor? I think it's Eleanor. Yeah, they're, they're, they're messing with Eleanor now. I think they, they probably freed her bird, knowing that it would upset her. Sin says he has about an hour and 20 minutes before he has to leave for work. Oh, nice! Well, that's, that's a decent amount of time, I think. We'll be going for at least an hour and 20 minutes. Find me more! No? Okay. Well, good job anyway. You found me an extra shortbread. Good woof. Good little woof. Good woofer. Uh, okay. Well, maybe another drumstick? Find us another drumstick? No, none of that. That's okay, Sharky. You tried your best. That's all that matters. All that matters is that you tried. Uh, okay. Okay. So this leads me to sock and chocolate. Is there anything else I can... Oh, he's gonna... Oh, how, how lucky. How fortuitous. How fortuitous that we had a ribbon right here. All right. Any? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Anything else? Yeah, let's find. Let's let's collect some extra stuff because these boss fights fucking suck. We're gonna need them. We're gonna need them. But I'm not gonna turn in all this stuff and get the the treats. Um during a stream. Like, that's super tedious. You're just sitting there, mashing the buttons over and over again, turning in turning in 36 freaking clothespins. Ah, oh, ribbon! I would like to find some white chocolate. That sounds delightful. Alright, so that's all of that found. Alright, find. How is everyone's Tuesday going? No, he can't find none? Okay. Good boy. 
my Tuesday is going very hot because it's about 104 degrees outside right now. Joy! Yeah, Sin said it. They could definitely could have allowed for bulk payment, you know, like selecting the, just like, like selecting the number you want to turn in. And I'm doing this, by the way, the reason I'm doing this now is because, uh, like I mentioned before, I don't want to get caught in a situation where um, there's enemies about and I'm having to try to do this. And I don't know what will provoke the next appearance of monsters. Monster children. Is it gonna be bird? Is it gonna be bird kids now? Because last time was goat, little goat children. They were a huge pain in my ass, but they were adorable when they had made their little. Bah, bah, bah. That was kind of cute. That was pretty darn cute. What am I picking up? Inventory full. That is a toy. What? What in the world is that? Is that a toy car? What? What? Um. Um. Oh, we can get rid of sock for now, right? We already checked. There's nothing to be found with socks. There's nothing to be found right now with ribbons. We already we already looked. I think each time we finish a new section, I'll just uh, recheck the areas that we are are now available to us. Four ribbons get mince pie. Jennifer found white chocolate! Oh! -ho -ho -ho! Yay! White chocolate! Let's take a look at this delicious white chocolate. Restores full health. A rich, milky, gourmet sweet. It's magic in your mouth. Wow. Wait, what does the chocolate one say? If that one restores full... This one restores. This one also restores full. Nice. Sin says things are good here. He wants to stay home and figure out this chapter rather than work, but money keeps food in his belly. Yes. Lawwiff says his Tuesday is like all other Tuesdays, the kind of Tuesday that comes between Monday and Wednesday. Any way you put it, it's Tuesday. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should be working today. I should be working today, but... Um, the doctor gave me a, a work release for the day just to make sure that I was feeling better and I wasn't still feeling, you know, like nauseous, woozy, that kind of stuff. Uh, okay. Anything else? Anything else? My sister had a concussion before, a mild one also, I believe. Uh, she was she went on like a snowboarding trip with like a class group or something like that. And I guess she was a, uh, oh, just a marble. I, I guess she was just kind of sitting down on a log talking with somebody in the snowy area. And uh, somebody had like jumped a snow jump of some kind behind her the snowboard detached from the person's feet and the snowboard came flying through the air and hit her in the head <laughs> oh shit she also got a concussion uh not very long ago like maybe two years ago from um a bird a hawk was it a hawk a bird some kind of african bird that attacked her i don't know how she got the concussion if she was i don't know if she like fell while trying to f like flail and fend it off. I don't know. But that's pretty funny. <gasps> yeah, white chocolate. Let's search for what does white chocolate show us? All things are fine here, says Guy. Little irritation between coworkers, which they don't discuss with each other. Aww. I'm glad that I don't have a lot of that at my work. Well, you did your best. Uh, did I just do this? I was just on this one, wasn't I? Okay, good. All right, let's drop it. Let's drop it and get rid of it and say adios. And I can't drop marbles? Are you telling me I can't drop marbles? Well, they were dropped by someone. 
everywhere, might, might I add. All right, well, let's give uh, our little shark brownie buddy a sniff of this feather. And I'm sure that that will lead us to where we need to go. So, uh, okay, so, 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 so. My original, like, thought, or my original impression of the game when, I, when we first started playing it was that this was like a girls' orphanage for girls only, right? Remember? Remember that? I remember that. Do you remember that? I remember it. So, but it wasn't. It's not. There's boys here. It just tends to focus on the girls, kind of. And, um, and so I was thinking, like, oh, without any boys being around, like, you can tell that they're kind of experimenting with romances between each other, you know, because they don't, because they're just girls reaching the puberty age, um, and whatnot. But since I was wrong about that, there are boys. Um, I'm thinking more along the lines of it's saying something about, like, the tendon, the... Hmm, let's see. The natural di Oh, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm, it's... I think it's trying to say more about the natural tendencies that children will have towards who they choose romantic, um, like, experimentation with, with when they're not being influenced by a parent or an authority figure, an adult. All right, what... Okay, what... What, 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 what is going on? This? Can I find anything with this now? So I guess in a way you can say that... What? What are you doing? Go, 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 go. Oh shit, guys, I'm stumped. I followed the feathers and it led me to an infinite amount of falling feathers. <laughs> Thank you, Sin. In clinical terms, they each have a major screw loose. Okay, uh... Shit, well... Why is everything locked? Do I need to find... I think I need to find Eleanor. I want this. I want this. I want that toy. What about this toy? Can I have this toy? What is this? What? Oh, what? <gasps> How did I? 20th of December, 1930. A tragic multiple homicide has occurred at an orphanage in Cardington. Guys, this is story. <gasps> Resulting in the deaths of all the children housed there. Among the dead was one adult, Gregory M. Wilson, a local resident. Analysis of the crime scene suggests that Wilson shot himself with a pistol. Police have identified him as their prime suspect in the murders of the children. All the kids are dead. Wow. That's crazy. That's that's a huge bomb that was just dropped on us. Blosses, can we blame that hoe Diana? Just call the cops and tell them she gave you a concussion and get her sent to jail. Then we'll become the new princess of the Red Rose aristocrats. <laughs> I'd go with it. Sin says, I do have to say that this airship is driving me crazy. It's also samey that it's frustrating. I agree with you. I agree with, I've felt that way from the very, since the airship showed up. Are we the crazy one? Are we? Sin says, maybe he was the old man in the opening movie that drags Jennifer into darkness. Yeah, it probably was. Ark! Hey, Ark! Good to see you, dear. It's storming where you are right now. I want to be there. 
Gosh, if I had missed that newspaper, that is vital. Okay, so let's just, let's, okay, so it's leading upstairs. Yeah, it's leading upstairs. So let's go there. Oh, I'm redoing this part, aren't I? Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's right. I remember now. Let's equip a weapon. <laughs> okay, let's get this, because I believe they have, like, long necks or something stupid. Okay. So. Oh, burb. Purple burb. Purple bird says 37. Purple 37. Don't know what if that's going to be. Ark, if you get struck by lightning and survive, let me know for science. <laughs> Let's follow these. Oh no, Ark, don't go outside waving a big metal gun. Oh, that's right, I did go in here. Oh, uh, apparently I didn't. Only small ones. Oh, red one. Uh, this red one says red 55. Okay. What is it? 37, 55 so far. Does this just lead in a loop? Oh, no, it does not. It leads into the toilet. Yeah, what do we need a weapon for when we have shark? Well, sharks... Shark's just too lovable. He doesn't like hurting people. He, he can distract people, but that's it. Oh yes, that's right. Is that blood on it? Oh my gosh. Is the knife and fork like there to indicate that they ate it? <laughs> it is a hundred and four degrees here. <laughs> Seventy degrees Fahrenheit. Beautiful. That's a beautiful day. No chance, not ever. No chance. Such a pain. Just terrible. I can't stand the sight of her. Oh my goodness, you guys are ah, uh, just terrible. Horrible, horrible, terrible, terrible. Yes, she had it coming. Yes, she deserved it. Hmm. Are we too cruel? <laughs> Heavens no! You're right. It's her own fault. <laughs> it's her own fault that you guys are tormenting her by stealing her bird and making her think it's dead? Yeah. Hate. Hate girls like this. Hate people like this. Although, granted, they are usually girls. People like this are usually girls. I don't know if I ever met. Well, I'm, I'm sure I've mentioned it, uh, but I so I got bullied mostly by girls uh, when I was in school, like elementary, middle, and kind of into high school. And um, dude, girls are girls are are nasty. They're just so they're such bitches. They're so awful, and they absolutely hate girls that are not like. You know, them, who don't act, like, according to, like, the girly, the girly stereotype. At least back then they didn't. I mean, maybe it's changed. I hope it has. That'd be nice. If, uh, if, like, their, their, if their social structures were a little bit more flexible for, um, letting people with different personalities not be basically ostracized. Eavesdropping, eh, Jennifer? What's a bad girl? The wise looking princess said, I know what you're doing. You're looking for the bird of happiness, aren't you? It's in a room nearby, but I don't remember the room number. Okay, that's very helpful. Thank you. The bird will die, and it'll make Eleanor cry. So we better help. Oh, I bet she'll be furious. Let's make a wager on whether she cries or she's furious. That's, that's that in a nutshell. Yeah, so um, one time, I th it was in seventh grade, I was wearing um, 
my favorite shirt. It was kind of like a sh like a shaggy. Okay, this was a long time ago. So it was like a shirt that had the texture of like a shag rug, and I loved it. My grandma got it for me. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. Okay, story will be continued in a moment. No! Don't let it face you. Oh, I remember how I died last time. That's right. I went upstairs into this area and... Kill it! Kill it! Damn. How much did that hurt? Not too bad. Not too bad. Right! So I was wearing this shirt. It was like a fuchsia pink. I was in seventh grade and... Um, this girl that I've had problems with, like, that whole year, she was just such a nasty, she was so, like, vicious and mean and nasty, she was such a bitch, like, I, there was no reason for her to even have started, like, being mean to me in the first place, I never did anything to her, um, except when she started bullying me, I started standing up to her, or I started, like, I don't know, like, talking back, like, not being all submissive, but, like, I don't know. Anyway, what she does is uh, we're doing arts and crafts during um, during one point in class. She comes up behind me with a f handful of glue poured into her hand. She just squeezed, like, a ton of glue in her hand. She came up behind me and smeared it all over the back of my shirt. Just because cause she hated me. I also got in my hair, too, a little bit but not enough that I had to cut any of it out. And so I went up to the, uh, I went up to the teacher who, I mean, by this time in the school year, oh, great, another one. By this time in the school year, um, he'd heard a lot of complaining, of me complaining about being picked on and bullied. And he was just really sick of hearing it. He was sick of being annoyed with, um, you know, Rose's, Rose is constant complaining that she's being picked on. So uh, when I walked up to him, I had like, like almost tears in my eyes because I don't know of what just happened. I was so mad and frustrated and angry and whatever. And just like basically being tormented all the time every day at school. So I, I walk up to him and he sees the look on my face and he just like sighs with this very I'm so over this look on his face and he goes do I even want to know and so I didn't tell him I didn't tell him I just said no probably not can I go to the bathroom and uh, he said yes and I went to the bathroom and I uh, cried and I tried to clean up uh, my shirt as best I could and that's what happened. So I don't think you can just walk willy-nilly into anyone that you want. It's going to result in a fight. So the key, the key is going to be these birds. 12 blue. I think we had 37 purple. I think we had 55 red. But see, 55, there's no doors with that. Oh, let me catch up. Let me catch up with the chat. Uh, Sin says when he lived in Bakersfield, it would get up to 120 in August. It was pretty difficult with no air conditioning. <gasps> no air conditioning. Sin! How did you survive? My god. It's only by a miracle that you're still with us. I'm glad I moved out of what would be called California's gas station bathroom. Oh, dear. Oh dear, in Arizona, oh no, you poor thing. Yeah, no, Phoenix, I mean not Phoenix, what am I saying, Nevada, Nevada, Arizona, jeez, th those places are usually worse than Southern California. Hot weather is mankind's worst invention. <laughs> I like the, the kind of head nod, the, the subtle uh, sub... I don't know, subtext or subcontext of the because because law of climate change uh you know what that problem was one of the usual targets uh what just the guy says yeah no that problem was one of the usual targets too because I was different both girls and boys yeah see I was a girl that was not very girly and girls hate other girls that are not very girly well back then 
where I was, at least. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to make these sweeping generalizations. Uh, since says, I could only hazard a guess that she felt horrible about herself and tried to elevate herself by knocking others down. I'm just sharing a thought. Um, she thought that she was a badass. That's the thing. Is she thought it was it was this girl who was trying to be like a chola. Um, her name was Sharice. Sharice. So she uh, she kind of hung out with like the chola crowd. Blue, that was yellow. What 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 are you talking about? All right, focus focus on the game. Yeah, the yellow. Did I say blue and I meant yellow? What is this? Ah, oh, 12. Okay, 12 is yellow. Blawwiff says, the best way to deal with high school bullies, grow up to be a happier, smarter, richer, and better looking than them. Then add them to Facebook. Nice. If only it were that easy. <laughs> all of that. If only, if only all of that was so easy to accomplish. Okay, so... 18, 19, what is this? This is 25, 37, purple is 37. Crap, which one was the yellow one? 12, right? 12, I think. Scrolling 12, so 17, 16, we're getting closer! What's this? Nothing, it's a locked door. Sin says in school he was never really noticed, just sort of set dressing. Just sort of set dress. Oh, I see what you mean. Set dressing. People tease you now and then, but by and large, he was usually ignored because you faded into the background. I attempted to fade into the background. Oh man, they wouldn't let me. That's why I went from being like very outspoken to being very shy and like socially anxious. I did kind of have a lot of social anxiety after after that. I just stopped talking to anyone. I was super quiet after that. Oh shit, I know where this leads. Not gonna happen. Not happening. Not happening. I guess like once you've once you've been like pinned or targeted as like the easy bully target, it doesn't go away. Green is 45. Well, I know for sure that these don't go to 45. Wait, wait, wait. 21. Where's 22? Didn't we have a 22? Yes, we did. Yellow was 22, wasn't it? 21. 22! Aw, oh, what? Uh, should I just randomly check? I heard a bird. Come back. Oh, Anthony Walker, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Walker, Anthony John Walker is back. Good to see you, Anthony. I'm sorry I didn't see you slip in. I'm like trying not to be too distracted from the game, but also trying to, you know, not miss anybody who's coming in. Okay, so I came in here because I heard a whistle when I walked by, but alas, there is nothing. Uh, Sin says, at least until 7th and 8th grade when you became school famous as a good singer. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Good for you. Oh, it's going to let me in here. Am I going to be locked in here with a bird child? Aw. Nothing. Uh, so how did they find out that you were a singer? Did your, did your school have a talent show or something like that? Uh, yes, this is where I started. Okay, that's where I started. Damn it. Uh, yes, that's Eleanor. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing now. Maybe I should look... Yeah, maybe I should look up a little direction. I think I will. I don't, I don't want to be running around aimlessly, boringly. 
I'm gonna look up a little pointer. Oh, wait! Why don't we go talk to Sir, Sir Bucket Knight? Yeah, Sir Bucket Knight's always willing to help. Uh, Blobwiff says, I have social anxiety known... I have a social anxiety known as selective mutism. So I didn't say a word. Hold on, let me get... Uh, so I didn't say a word to anyone. So I was there and everyone wanted to be my friend to try to hear me talk. And if they did get me to talk, they lost interest and went back to their... Aww. Dude, that sucks, Blawwoof. That sucks, Mr. Woof. I'm very sorry for that. It's kind of like it's kind of like you, like they saw that as a novelty in you, and then once they actually heard you talk, then they're like, well, pff, I don't know. Then they're like, well, okay, you're not interesting anymore, which is really shitty. That is really shitty. I need to find a bucket knight. Ah, uh, ah! How rude! Look at look at this shit. Do you see this shit? These kids. Oh, crap. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Sir Bucket Knight gives gives hints. That's why I'm looking for him at... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! No! Ah! Crap. Surrounded. Well... Can I go this way now? No! Shit. Basil? Well, I don't remember where the Bucket Knight was, if there even is one. Come! Come with me! Oh! Oh! Hey! He's carrying- he's carrying the thing! Hey! Ah! I gotta run! No! No! I got you! I got you, bastards! I got you! I have to pick that up! I'm hurt! I'm damaged! Um, <sighs> how much does this restore? Look, restores a lot of health. Hmm. Well, I think I can take a few more rat nibbles before I'm in need of that. No. Well, there it is. Oh shit! I need to go around. I need to pick up that knife he dropped. It's a special thing. It's a special thing. Oh, shit. No. No broom. No broom. Yeah, take that. Take that. Hey! He jumped. Rats can't jump, I don't think. Hopefully. Aw, oh, damn it. It's taken so long to kill this guy with the broom. Aw, oh, shit. No! Uh. Use. Yeah! Aw, oh, I probably should have eaten a chocolate. There we go. Okay. Let's go around this way now. We're gonna... Actually, I'll stay here for a minute. Come with me! Don't get hurt! Shark! Okay. So, we're gonna... Bait them this way. Come around. Oh, no! Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Oh, shit. However... I do have a bit of a bottleneck, don't I? I have a bottleneck for these fuckers. Ah, run! Rats! The rats are afraid of- ah! Okay, get off. Get off. Get off. Get off! Okay, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit. Oh no! Attack from both sides! I'm surrounded! Run! Come on! Come with me, shark! Come on. No, 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 no! No, no, no! Come with me! Don't even bother! Don't even bother! Come on! Okay! Alright, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Special knife! Special knife! Yeah! I got it! 
Now let's get the hell out of here. Okay, where are they? Are they blocking the exit now? Shit, camera. Ugh, okay. Run for it! I don't think there was a bucket knight in there. Okay. <laughs> now I can take a look. Yeah, um, hmm. Now I need a bucket knight because I need to save. Let's try over here. Oh, that's locked. Alright, I guess our only other choice is to look over here. What's my health at? Oh, dear. It's not very good, is it? Shit. Hold on. Excuse me! Had the sneezes. Sneezes. Okay. Let's enter here. Oh, we can go in. Sec first passenger corridor. Oh, hey! There they are, on the other side of the barrier. Yeah, no, this doesn't show... <sighs> the map doesn't show where the bucket knights are. Okay, let's look around. Cafeteria. <gasps> Did the cafeteria have... Did the cafeteria have Bucket Knight? Okay. Ah, uh, camera, you suck. Was it in this corner, maybe? Ah, oh, yay! Oh, thank God! Bucket Knight! Bucket Knight! You have no idea what I was just through a bunch of rat children! Yeah, let's save. Yeah, let's overwrite. Howix! Howix 10! How's it going, buddy? How are you, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Okay, now we're gonna ask for a hint, because I don't know what I'm actually supposed to be doing. If memory serves me correctly, you're looking for a bird. You are looking f you are looking for a bird, you are looking for a bird happiness. Yeah, I'm looking for the bird of happiness, supposedly. But you found an iron box. How frustrating it must be. Three numbers are needed to unlock it. Oh! Solve the puzzle to unlock the box. That's your only clue. What box? Did we find a metal box? Let's see if I have any food I left in here. Any sweets. Aw, how it's. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, let's go all the way down because I think that's where... Floral letter. Baron! See, look. This is the... This is the knife that I... What do you do with it, though? Biscuit tin. <gasps> I'm swapping this biscuit tin out for the Viscount. The bird. Oh, the bird. This is a... That's the book. Viscount. Okay. Now we're going to search for biscuits. Just watch Rose Tackle. <laughs> Tackle hug the bucket knight. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't need to. No, it's okay. They, I appreciate, but yeah. Okay. We need to find some biscuits. Stat. Uh, there's no more biscuits anywhere. Fine. Stock an item? Yes. I guess we do not need biscuit. Thing. Biscuit thing. Uh, yeah, um, we can, we can certainly, okay, I guess I have to take it off fine first. Oops. Let's take this off, uh, remove. Oh, and you know what? I can actually just drop it. Rah! That's not drop, that's drop. Yes. And I can get rid of the red feathers, because we already know where it led us to, and, well, actually, I'll probably need it to lead us back, to be honest. Let's drop the film. We 
can always look later. Okay. I did save, yes? Yes, I saved. I saved, I got a hint. Okay, so we're gonna need to write down those numbers. Pen. Pen, 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 pen. Pen, 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 pen. I guess I can use the pencil that my boyfriend stabbed me with the other day <laughs> while handing it to me accidentally. Have to clarify. I was joking. He didn't actually stab me on purpose. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Use this graph paper, sure. Okay. So, I don't know what he was talking about saying that I found saying that I found um a metal box. Is he talking about the cage? Room 9. Have we been in here? What the fuck? What the? <laughs> what? July 1930, Daily Flamingo. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Did the, the last newspaper that we read, I believe it said June. That the massacre happened June of 1930. I wonder if we're reliving this, but in a very twisted way. Husband borrows yet another 30 pounds from wife's bank account. Let's write that down. That 30 may be important. So that said, July 1930, and the number was 30 pounds. That might be one of the numbers we need for uh, th the, the lock. Oh, no, don't you dare. You stay on the other side. Uh, cafeteria, okay, just came from there. And then I think it came from here. And then let's see, like over here. Um, if the last paper said June and this one said July, then this would be after the massacre. Went to the wrong door apparently. This door. Guest room. Guest room hall. Oh, it just brings it back, back here. And we're trapped here. Well. Okay. We were in here. I haven't even found the contraption or box or device that supposedly needs a code. But I'm going to write this down. I'm going to write purple 37. Can I just leave? Nope. Apparently not. Yellow was 12. Thank you, Sin. Yellow. Whoops. Set my gamepad down on the keyboard. Yellow was. Tw was it 12 or 22? 12. I'll write down 12. And then red is 55. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to check every room. I'm just going to check every room. I already checked this room. I think. Okay, where's the green bird? Green bird. I found the green bird. This one is green 45. Okay, can I go out here? Let's just try this door. It's open, we will try it. <gasps> Stairway? Does it lead out? Oh no. Mm. Uh, but. It's just gonna be this little kid, you know? What is this? Scone! Oh, is that another scone? 
So if I continue further up, there's this like boss area kind of that's just it's it's yeah. you go there to get wrecked. That where that's where people go to get wrecked. Why won't the birdie fly to me? Why does it have to be you? Stay away. I said stay away. Uh ah, another scone. It can't be possible that I have to actually fight all these things. Yeah, holy shit. Uh, and there's no way out of here, so... <laughs> Guy says that deserves a push, right? I think the last stream, I told her, like, just grab her by her ankles and off she goes. <laughs> okay. More doors, more doors, more doors. That That's the answer to this. More doors. There's no way in hell I'm, I'm meant to kill all of those things. Without a gun or something better. Okay, so we check that. We check this. It's locked. It's fine. She'd only scream in abject terror for a little bit. Eh, for a couple seconds. But it's that landing that I'm looking forward to. That... That, that thump and squeak at the same time when, like, the landing just forced all the air out of her tiny body. <laughs> oh god, that's sick. I'm just kidding. That's a bit dark. That's a bit dark for me. <laughs> Howix is like, I gotta go. I, uh, I forgot that, uh, I'm allergic to psychopaths. Wow, Rose dealing with some dark feelings on me. <laughs> oh man, I've made some dark jokes in the past couple of days. I don't know what's gotten into me, but um, it was really hilarious to watch the reactions. Rooting through some deep psychological stuff. <gasps> hey, this is new. Bird? Bird? I heard a bird. Didn't you? Didn't you, did you hear like an actual bird? Land of the birds, population 834. Jeez, Louise, that's a lot of birds. 834. Okay. I mean, other than having a number on it, that could possibly be... What is this? There's a box labeled land. Oh, this box. Oh, okay. So wouldn't it be a, a very simple 834? It can't be that easy, could it? No. Oh, yes. Yes, it could. Oh, ah, there's another one. Oh, a box within a box. It's called tinnitus? Tinnitus is ringing in the ears. Nah, I worked in a theme park for five years. I'm good with psychopaths. Nice. Inventory full. Please drop a thing. Oops, not what I meant to do. Um, land sketch. Well, I don't need you anymore. Drop. I like having lots of scones, though. Uh, the blue one was 16. Torn diet chart? Birdie town mayor's diet chart. Birdie town mayor's diet chart, part of it has been torn off. Huh. Interesting. How many numbers are we looking for now? Box is labeled village. 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 Well, I don't remember seeing village anywhere. Oh shit, I dropped that map, didn't I? But the only number on it was. <gasps> oh shit, do I need to go get it? 
Do I need to count the number of red dots that were in the village? I hope not. Village. Um, actually, let's add up all the numbers. Let's see if that's it. Calculator. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, thirty-seven... Yeah, smell of protein's not great. I make protein shakes, and sometimes... I mean, you gotta clean out your protein shake cup immediately. You leave that for a few hours? Oh no, you've made a big mistake. Okay, 37 plus 12 plus 55 plus 45 plus 16 is 165. Just for shits and giggles, let's just give that a try. Let's give that a try. Okay. Let's give this a try. The sum of all birds. Uh, 165. One. That's not the right way. One. 60. I already used one, uh, I already used 834. Sin? I used it for the box that was called land. Nope, that's not it. Hmm. Let's see if you and I have the same thing, guy. Purple 37, yellow 12, red 55, green 45, blue 16. Fantastic. Oh. Well, let's have a look at this diet chart again. Maybe we need to find the other half and that'll tell us. Ah, find. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, find. Shit, I probably dropped that uh, that map a bit preemptively. Oh, it's her. She's standing there now. Was she always standing there? I thought it was Eleanor. Oh, where can it be? The bird of happiness. Ugh. God, I hate you. I hate you and girls like you. <gasps> Shark! He's on to something. Wait, I went in... Oh, this room was locked before. I think. Yeah. Uh, no. No, it was not. What do we have here? I can't see. I can't see. Inventory full. Please drop something. Crap. Um. Well, I can't... Apparently, I can't drop the marbles. So, let's drop this. Let's drop the clothespins. A diet chart. The other half of the diet chart. Nice. Ah, oh, well, there it is. 124. This morning weight was 124. And that's answered then. Oh, shoot. I should probably look if there's anything. Let's, let's check it just in case. Kilograms? You think... What is this stuff? No? Nothing to inspect? I want more newspaper... No, I meant to check the towel rack! Well... Did it... Does it really say kilograms? Or grams? Oh, it is marked as kilograms. Huh. Interesting. Oh, crap. Which room was the box in? I forget. Not this one. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna have to fight a giant ass bird. That's gonna be the, the boss. 26? 
Law Wolf says 26. 23. That would be down this way, I think. I hope. Blue. Is it here? Yes. 26. My word, it's so hot. Let's see. Oh my god. Thermostat says it is 84 degrees in here. But I deal with um, I deal with heat way better than my um, boyfriend does, so I'm just trying to leave the uh, the AC off for the day, and then once he gets home, we'll turn it on. That way, it's not on the whole day, just half the day. 124. Yay! More torn papers. If someone weighs 124 grams, they'd be less than a pound. 0.273373 pounds, apparently. Papers, please. Sketch piece. Daddy is blank. Mummy is blank. The rest has been torn off. Daddy is dead. Mummy is... I don't know. Family. Okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. Shark, we need your attention once more. Uh, we probably don't need this diet chart anymore. Drop. Find. Ooh, it leads to two things. <laughs> How it... Howl X. It's not Howix, it's Howl X. I'm so sorry, Howl. I'll call you Hal for short. Hal was hoping a giant 124 kilogram bird would pop out of the box. I wasn't. I'd have to fight that thing. Uh, where did he go? Oh, there he goes. He's off. He's off on a sharky adventure. I'm getting the feeling I should save soon. Ooh, I should be writing this shit down. Ooh. Okay, so that is land. And then village, in case I have to do this again. Village was 124. What do we have here? Daddy is blank, mummy is blank, daughter is blank, family 20 something. Oh, I see. We're going to we're going to have to add up the ages of the birds. So red was 55. Take us away, woof. Oh. Apparently had to reselect this. Take us away, shark. Definitely a chocobo. So the answer was old? <laughs> How rude. Okay, c I, I want... <laughs> creepy! That was creepy. Uh little girl in a white dress. Okay, question. Poll. Poll in the chat. I don't know how to do polls, but we're going to do like a like an informal poll, so I'm just going to actually look at your answers. Uh, how old do you think is middle age? When somebody says that somebody's middle age, what age or age range do you think it is? Where did it go? The red bird. I'll tell you my answer. My answer is 40. Because Hal says 40 to 55. My answer is 40 or around 40. Like, my answer is at least 40. 40 or maybe a little bit older. In their 40s. My, my, um, my support for that answer is that if you're 
mid-life that should be in the middle of your life, so half your life. So if somebody lives to be 80 years old, half of their life would be 40. But see, I have a coworker that said that to her, middle age just like over 50. Like calling somebody who's 40 middle aged is, uh, is an insult. Oops, I don't need to follow you here. Where am I going? Uh, she said it's an insult, but it's because she is a little bit older than 50, I guess. And uh, what I say to that is if you're saying that middle age is 50, then you're saying that the average lifespan is 100 years old. Yeah, Howell, I think I think you'd I think you might have nailed it. So All right. Uh Shark is saying we have to go this way. 42 seems like a good answer actually. Okay. So we got we got some mixed results in here. Some people think it's like 40ish or in the 40s and some people think it's 50 or older. Only if they have their towel. <laughs> 42. Sin says 50. Yeah, but but like I said, if, if midlife is 50, that means that you live to be 100. And that's just you live. I kind of feel like people who live to be... Ah! I forgot, 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 forgot. Shit. No shit. What am I trying to get to up here? Don't die. Don't die. For God's sakes, don't die. For God's sakes, don't die. No, not find. Eat. Consume. Shark led me here. Wait, no, don't do that. This. Find. Okay. Now run to safety. Run to safety. And... No, they're beating up my dog! He's leading me this way. Uh, but... But... No! <laughs> There's nothing here! He's saying it's across the gap! Oh, fuck. <sighs> Guys, this is bad. Oh, it's right there! I was clicking like crazy right there. I was clicking like crazy. All right. We gotta get the fuck out. How old was Margaret? Margaret? I don't know. I think Margaret was... Seems like Margaret might be... Nine? Daddy, mummy, daughter. All right. We can, anal we can analyze this later. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh... I don't... You know what? He's gonna appear beside me. I know this. I'm gonna save that drumstick for when we're actually fighting stuff. I'm not fighting this shit. Ah! Ah! Not fair! They got two free hits in! Oh, see? Here he is. My good boy. Alright. How knackered am I again? No, oh, not bad. Not bad. Sweet. Yeah, fuck that room. And also, we need to save. I'm gonna go save before I solve this puzzle. If I can remember how to get there. Shark is miraculous! Oh, Sin says, well, middle age is more of a term indicating a period of life rather than a middle of the total number of years you've lived. If that's the logic, then someone who died at 16 reached middle age at 8. Well, but I think it's not, I don't think it's an individual type thing. Like, I, I think that middle-aged is like a term used to talk about half of the average number of years a population lives. So like, in America, people, they're like, the average lifespan is, I don't know, something. I need to leave. <laughs> I need to leave, yeah. 
Shit. How do I get to the corridor that leads me to the bucket night? Uh, no, it's not the cafeteria. Is it this? Guest room hall. Oh, yes, this is where I wanted to be. Um, was this... Where did I find the bucket knight? <gasps> In the cafeteria! I passed it. I passed it. Oh, I don't need the bucket knight. I, yeah, I do. Don't worry about it. Age is just a number. Well, I mean after 18. As long as you're at least 18, then age is just a number. <laughs> I... Oh, God. There's, uh... Yeah, people... Some very, very sick people use that justification as an excuse for messing around with underage kids, which is just fucking disgusting! You know, I was thinking that, but wasn't gonna say it. But you did for me. <laughs> Thanks, Hal. Uh, overwrite. Yeah, overwrite. I don't understand. Hold on. Let me let me scroll up a little bit. Sin says, middle age is more return indicating a period of life. Middle age. Yeah, so the middle. Okay. Middle. Yeah, I can get on. I can get on the same page with you there. Middle age is a term indicating a period of life. The, like the middle, the middle years. Yeah? Yeah. And I think the middle years are probably, f yeah, you're probably right. 40 to 50. I can say that. I, I or rather, I can agree with that. Well, like what I say is just fact. Okay. Give me a second because I seriously have to pee. We'll be right back. And then we're going to go solve this little bird problem. And hopefully not find a dead bird inside of a metal box.
Okay, I'm back. And I see that, uh, once again, people are trying to, uh, revolutionize my stream, trying to rebel. I thought I showed you last time what happens to people who mutiny. <laughs> okay. So, we have some stuff. Do we even need this anymore? <gasps> No, there's nothing that can be found with that. <clears throat> okay. Let's head back. And let's do some simple elementary math. Yeah. BRB screen. Thank you. Thank you. Back in the hallway. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> guy. No, Guy, you must stay in there. For the remainder of the stream. You know what? I've half a mind to strip you rebellers of your VIP badges. Blawwoof will be the only one. Or no, Guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guy will be the only one to retain his VIP badge. My most loyal subject. Okay, uh, wrong room, again. Shit, I hate this place. This place is terrible. She's here again. They just keep trading places, or am I... Are they just on opposite ends of the hallway? Um. Yeah. Okay. It is this way. So Eleanor and Diana keep uh, changing places. It's confusing me. Oh! They didn't. This is not the right room. Right? Right? Right. It's room 26. And look, Shark is all better now. Yeah, all these halls look the same. And like all the corridors look the same as airship. It's uh it sucks. It's very ugly. <gasps> Blowwolf, are you watching the stream audio only again? Oh no, I'm so sorry. We'll save your bird, Eleanor. Eleanor, right? Yeah, Eleanor. Okay, so. Max. It would be... Pencil. The red one, which is 55. The green one, which is 45. The yellow one, which is 12. <sighs> Calculator, because I don't feel like doing math. Do, 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 and it's faster. 55, 45, 12. 1,12. So if somebody was 55 and they had a 12-year-old, then they were 43? 43? When they had their kid, is that correct? Uh, one, one, 43 having a kid. That's a bit, that's a bit up there, right? Jesus, I've had some people, I've had some people in the last year, like clients at my work, um, like make comments that are like, oh, you need to hurry up and have kids. You need to hurt, you need to start your family. Like, oh, Jesus. Thanks for the opinion I didn't ask for. Famous couple to divorce? What? Daily Flamingo. Husband borrows 60 pounds from wife's 365 pound bank account. Interesting. Do I get to keep all these things? News article. And there's more. There's always more. This is the rest of the game. It actually goes on for eternity. Well, having younger, uh, having kids younger means they're off to college when you're younger and you have more youthful energy to take care of them. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Hm. Uh, which way did he go? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I was correct. 
Oh no, not this way again. Isn't this hallway? No, it's not. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, this room. I have three cats. That's been enough for me. Again. Yes, I know. I, I was already here. <laughs> July, 1930. Daily Funga borrows yet another 30 pounds from wife's bank account. Oh, shit. The first one was 60, right? Okay. It said, it said 60 pounds. This one says 30 pounds. Wait a minute. Did it say 60? Or 50? 60 pounds. I'm going to write down 365 as well, just in case. That is important. Uh, Martha! That's apparently who this is. This is apparently Martha. Oh, is she the cleaning lady? Crap. Um, well, now what? Oh, 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 oh. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. So the bank account, the wife's bank account was 365, yeah? And the husband borrowed 60 pounds, so subtract 60, and then borrowed another 30, so subtract another 30, which gives us 275. And that, my darlings, my dearest lovelies, is the answer. I bet. Maybe not. But I'm going to bet on it. Batman's mom! Okay, so I need to go towards her. Wait, is that right? Jesus, I hate these corridors. I hate them so bad. Do they keep switching places or am I going crazy? Oh, no, they do keep switching places. This is 26, right? What? No, that's 13. Okay, Diana and, uh, what's the girl? Margaret. Diana and Margaret's name. Diana and Margaret keep changing places. And then a second ago, we had Eleanor right outside with the birdcage. Since that I wanted to, ha I'd wanted to have a family, but since I'm basically 40, it's a bad idea. It's been really difficult emotionally to let go of that dream. But yeah, kids aren't for everyone, just stay in my own case. Aww. I'm sorry, Sin. And I really don't think it's a bad idea. I don't think there's anything wrong with, like, if you were to meet somebody and start a family at this time in your life. Not at all. Well, I mean, you know, you know your situation better than, you know, everyone else. But, um, in general, I don't think that by itself being 40 should say that, you know, you definitely shouldn't. If you were a woman, it might be a little bit different. I did it! Um... Yeah, women can get pregnant when they're 40. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, well, she's going to be high risk and there's a risk of more complications. Yeah, there's a risk of more complications, but that doesn't mean that if it's been your dream that you should give, give up on it yet. And I'm not talking specifically to you, Sen. I'm talking in generalized, and now I'm actually talking about, you know, w women. Is it okay? It's not okay, is it? It wasn't me, honest. She's going to put it back in her cage. Well, 
by complication by complications I didn't mean like I didn't mean like complications that the baby might come out unhealthy. I was thinking more like complications like with the pregnancy. Like uh preeclampsia, having to get a cesarean. That's kind of more of the lines of what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't know if I've really seen research that says that you have a higher chance of having an unhealthy baby if you're 40 or more. Or 40, I guess. Now at, le now at least it won't fly away again. Oh dear. What in the world happened in here? How did we get in here? Let's see. Do we have? Yes, we do have a, a bucket night. Good, we have a bucket night. Lawwiff says it's more dangerous for the mother than the baby. Yeah, that's kind of the impression that I got. Not that, yeah, not that like the mother might die, necessarily but I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about never mind don't listen to me I know nothing a slip of paper is beneath the clothing everything I'm trying to say is coming out wrong the moral the moral everlasting happiness oh huh wow oh my gosh so the bird of happiness if the bird of happiness dies then that means everlasting happiness? Once a girl found a big box. The bird of happiness was inside. Oh, I forgot that it said this. The bird would take her to Foreverland, or so she hoped. Each box was smaller than the last. In a cramped dark space, she finally found her little bird. But it was far too little and far too late. The bird was long dead. It had met a bloody fate. The end. The moral? Everlasting happiness is a joke. God damn. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend. And so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she'd never forget it, ever again. True love is what we wrote last time, right? Everlasting. Hmm. Thanks, Sky. Sometimes when I'm trying to explain my... What I'm thinking, it doesn't come out right. It, it comes off as something different okay uh we're, let's go ahead and save here and i think that since we've been streaming for an hour and a half we can switch to another game da, 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 da. okay who wants to do lorelei with uh who wants to do lorelei but with uh some different endings who wants to see a different lorelei ending and who wants to play always sometimes monsters and who Wants to play, uh, what was it? Bad Dream Coma. <gasps> Sin, I'll miss you. Okay, have fun at work. Thanks for joining us here. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Did Ark have to take off at some point? I guess I missed him. Where, where did he go? Sometimes I miss a couple of lines, and I feel like if I do miss like a line of chat, then it's because then it's like an important one. <laughs> Howl says I've not seen Lorelai or whatever the last one was. 
Bad dream coma. Any preferences, guy, blah, any votes? Who else do we have here? Oh! Oh, Ark! I did oh, I did miss the one from Ark. Ark said just about to get off work and head home. Ark, if you're listening. <gasps> Your ass clap! Hey! How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Well, thank you very much for the host. How very kind and lovely of you. How are you, my dear? Your ass clap. <laughs> doing great, and you? I'm doing fantastic. Much better than yesterday. When uh, um, I actually did concuss myself yesterday. Uh, something fell in my head and kind of knocked me out for like a fraction of a second or so something, because... I went down. So feeling much better today. I do have a nice extra day off, which is nice, but it's uh, a day of a day of missed work, and a day of missed work is a day of missed pay. Which makes it an excellent time to mention. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like the channel and you would like to support it. Haha, -ha, wink. But if you can't, no worries. You are welcome here no matter what. If you watch on YouTube, if you watch on Twitch, if you, what, whatever. Like, you, you guys, I love you guys. My fans are the best. I have the best, I have the best group. And it's really heartwarming. So, you guys do you. And I really just hope that you enjoy my entertainment. I hope I am still entertaining. My personality has changed quite a lot since a lot of you first found my videos. Which was a little bit nerve-wracking, coming back streaming, knowing that I had changed, knowing that my content would be different. It had to be. <laughs> Oh, thank you. See, this is what I'm talking about. You guys are the best. You guys are amazing. Oh my god! Reverend Sheep! Holy shit! <laughs> okay, well, that's amazing. Oh my god, that was the dumbest and most random thank thing. You. Oh, thank you for the follow, ass clap. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely, lovely. I will certainly take you with me. These streams are the best. Ah, oh, guy. Okay, well, I think since nobody put up any votes, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Always Sometimes Monsters. Yeah. Always Sometimes Monsters. It's fun. It's dirty. It's dark. And uh, it's pretty funny sometimes, too. So that's what we're going to do. I think that's a pretty good choice. Pretty solid choice. Yeah. So we're going to overwrite this just in case, because I don't remember if I actually hit the button. Has anybody else ever, like, went to the save screen and then hit save, and then they think they select overwrite, but they select, like, don't overwrite, and they end up not actually saving? Yeah. Okay. Let's switch you guys over to a different banner. Let's go to Just Chatting. Isn't that nice and pretty? This is, a. Uh, this is a beautiful little background that Arcavius made for us. And um, I actually, this is the only one that I had a little bit of input with, and I just let his creative juices make all the decisions for the other ones. But I really liked just red and black. It's a really beautiful color set. So, okay. <clears throat> Always, sometimes, monsters. Let's see if I can actually do this. You know what I'll, you know what I'll do? And I know this makes it a little bit more slightly difficult for you guys, but I'm going to end the stream and immediately restart it just so that these are in separate videos. I don't have to do any editing. I don't have to separate them before I put them on YouTube. I'm just going to put them up as separate videos. One of them is going to be uh, Rule of Rose, and the other one is going to be Always Sometimes Monsters. And what I have to do with Always Sometimes Monsters is let's see if it'll actually work. Oh no, it's not going to let me see the scenes while I'm streaming. 
Never mind then. Just chatting. <laughs> your ass clap. Would you prefer I called you your ass or ass clap? <laughs> that is the that is the funniest thing I have said in a while. Would you prefer I called you ass clap? <laughs> Or your real name. Either way is good for me. Uh, Asclap says, that happened to me one time playing Ninja Gaiden Black on the hardest difficulty. I forgot to save in the last one. No! Oh, Lord. Okay, guys. It's going to say that the stream has ended. I'll be back in uh, two shakes of a dragon's tail. Call you Clap. Will do.